Hey, it's Dan with New Mind Group with another tip on keeping your inbox organized. Today, I wanna to talk about filters, which are rules for automating steps. So last week, we talked about labels, which are great because they help you categorize your emails and help you find them much faster. But what if we could add those labels automatically? Or if we know we're getting emails from a ton of people that don't matter to us, we can automatically forward them or delete them for that matter. So let's jump into it. To find where you build your filters, you click on your settings icon and go to the settings page within Gmail. Up here you'll see you got a ton of tab options. The one we're looking for is filters. And then there's a link in the middle uh, at the bottom uh, that's called create a filter. So we'll click on that one. Now here's where you get a ton of options for searching for emails. These are the rules of which uh, Gmail is going to look for emails to do whatever action you decide. So you can look for emails that are from a certain person or that you're sending to a certain person or were sent for, to a certain person. Look for uh, certain words in a subject. Look for words within the entire email or words that aren't in the email for that matter. Um, and then you can also search for emails that have attachments or those that don't include cha chats. Maybe we're looking for sizes of attachments or sizes of, of email size. So we can search for all of those things. So I know that I wanna add some labels to do with Gmail. And I know that I have a few emails from the Gmail team, but I want to maybe add a label called Gmail to only the emails that have Gmail in the subject line. So I'm gonna add Gmail and I'm gonna to go to the bottom right of this dropdown that says create filter with this search. So now I have the option to choose an action. When messages arrive that match this search, so subject with Gmail, what do I want to happen? Well, let's just say I want it to skip the inbox, meaning archive it automatically, but I also want to apply a label called Gmail. And then it also tells me that from the past, it's found two emails that match this search. So there are two emails that have Gmail in the subject line. And so I wanna make sure that this filter gets added to them. So I'm gonna select that checkbox and I'm gonna say create filter. So when I go back to my inbox, I'm gonna see that I'm now down to one email instead of three that originally existed there. And I can see that two of those emails are in my Gmail label down this left side. If I click on it, it's showing me those two emails have now been moved to that label. And if I go into the email, it indeed shows me that the label has been added. So think about things that you could create filters for, maybe a sales workflow or a project workflow of some sort. Maybe you just wanna categorize emails by company automatically based on keywords in the from field. So have a go at it. Enjoy the filters for a bit. Tell me what kind of filters you use down below. Hit me up with some comments. And if you're looking for more training, you know we definitely can help out uh, with your organization, doing full organization, customized training to either get a better sense of Gmail or anything within the Google Apps suite. So if you're looking for more tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.